Hey everyone, Kieran King here, and a warm welcome to another video. This time on a little subject called dark pools or dark pools of liquidity. These are basically off exchange trading venues where stocks are traded in large quantities without prices being displayed until after the trade is done. It is called dark as the price information cannot be seen to the outside world. According to some sources, the use of dark pools is on the rise, and in 2017, approximately 40% of all US stock trading happened in them. In this video, we're going to talk about what they are, where they're used, why they're used, and what makes them a little bit controversial. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. So, let's dive in and mind the pun. In any transaction, there is a buyer and a seller. Let's say over here we have a seller, Mr. A, who is a large institutional investor. Mr. A wants to sell a 1 million block of shares of a publicly, publicly listed stock called, say, XYZ. If he goes through the normal stock exchange to do this, his intention to sell the shares gets added to the public order book, and suddenly just this draws a lot of attention. The public start wondering why Mr. A, Mr. A is selling shares. They start speculating on what his motives are and if they should be selling too. And this can have a big effect on the market and XYZ's underlying share price. Mr. A is also going to have a very hard time selling all those shares at once. He may have to actually divide these shares up into smaller chunks of say 10,000 shares each and sell them over a period of time. For instance, 10,000 shares every day for 100 days rather than a million shares all at once. As he sells them, however, in this way, this could potentially create some sort of downward pressure on the share price, which means that price he can sell them for may decrease with each batch he sells. In short, going through a public exchange to sell his 1 million shares means Mr. A might not get as much money for them, his intention to sell will not be secret, and it may take a long time to complete the trade. So instead, he goes to something called a dark pool. These dark pools are a form of multilateral trading facilities or an alternative trading system, as they call it in the US. It is basically an off-exchange trading venue or forum where large orders can be fulfilled without the general public knowing as it happens. In this dark pool, orders are matched up electronically and anonymously. So Mr. A enters this dark pool and puts an order to sell for a million shares of XYZ. This order is soon matched with an order to buy a million shares of XYZ by, say, a Mr. B. Now, these two parties at this point still don't know who the other one is. Anyway, the transaction happens and both Mr. A and Mr. B come out of the dark pool. Mr. A now announces to the public that he has sold a million shares of XYZ at a certain price and Mr. B announces to the public that he has bought a million shares of XYZ at a certain price. In short, this, tra this large transaction has occurred without anyone knowing when it was occurring. Mr. A has got a better price for his shares rather than simply hitting the public market with an order and Mr. B has managed to buy a large order of XYZ shares all at once. Another thing to add is that there are less transaction costs involved as no exchange fees are paid to the exchange. I hope this makes sense. So why are dark pools controversial? Well, the people that typically have access to using these dark pools are not everyday people like you and me. They are mainly large institutions like, for instance, pension funds or big banks. Stock exchanges are there to provide a degree of transparency to trading. So everyone is on an equal playing field and has the same opportunities. These dark liquidity pools go behind the stock exchanges back in a way and reduce transparency. On the flip side, those that dabble in dark pools may not be getting the best deal either. When you have two different trading venues, a stock exchange and a dark pool, the bid ask prices of stocks are not always going to match. You can see an, see an example there. It also leaves the stock price of say XYZ open to some big swings. If it came to public attention that Mr. A sold XYZ for a certain price below what it was currently trading at, that could cause the market price of XYZ to fluctuate suddenly when it could have been a gradual process. And there are other issues with dark pools. High frequency trading sharks sometimes swim in them and engage in tactics such as pinging, front running or latency arbitrage. Now if there's interest, I'll go into what these terms mean in another video. In summary, dark pools are actually becoming more and more common with lots of trades happening off exchange in these instead. They have their upsides and their downsides, but in short, offer less advantages to everyday investors like you and me. However, having said that, Institutions that are involved in dark pools could be a pension fund that you invest in, which ultimately is trying to benefit you anyway. So it's a tough one. Where do you sit? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this one, ladies and gents. If you like my content and want to learn more, please do hit that like and subscribe button. Take care, everyone. I'll see you all soon.